Thank you so much for joining us for tonight's edition of the Lakehead Georgian Spotlight. Tonight, we are spotlighting the Electrical Engineering Degree Diploma Program for the Lakehead Georgian Partnership. On tonight's call is Aaron Watson, Recruitment Officer for Lakehead University. Dr. Carlos Christofferson, Professor and Chair, the Department of Electrical Engineering in the Faculty of Engineering at Lakehead University. Dr. Mohammed Nasir Udin, Professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering at Lakehead University and Coordinator of the Bachelor of Engineering Degree Program with the Lakehead Georgian Partnership. Dr. Majid Ostad Rahimi, Professor Electrical Engineering Technologies at Georgian College and Professor and Program Coordinator for the Electrical Engineering Technology Diploma for the Lakehead Georgian Partnership. And on tonight's call, we welcome Jackie Wu, a fourth year student in the Electrical Engineering Degree Diploma Program. A little bit later on, Jackie will speak to us about his own personal experience with the Lakehead Georgian Partnership. And note to all those in attendance tonight, you've been entered to win a $100 Lakehead Georgian prize pack. Stay tuned to your email to see if you are the winner. On tonight's agenda, an overview of the Electrical Engineering Degree Diploma Program, we'll speak to ways that you can explore the Lakehead Georgian Partnership, and then we'll end tonight's webinar with a question and answer session. Now I'm going to turn it over to Dr. Christofferson to speak to you a little bit more about the Electrical Engineering Degree Diploma Program. Uh, just a repetition that uh, this uh, program is uh, four years long, and that is the duration of normal Bachelor of Engineering uh, programs. Uh, but you get two, two uh, certifications. One is the bachelor degree, and the other is the college uh, diploma. So, so that, that is, uh, could be useful to get, uh, say, to, to show that you have um, a, a more practical uh, engineering skills. Uh, for, for future employers. Uh, usually the, the college uh, uh, diploma, uh, um, um, the college diploma is, uh, involves a lot of uh, experimental work or, or, or practical work that, that is uh, it's very useful for engineers too. And uh, this is a list of uh, what courses you might expect uh, in year one. So in, in the fall term, uh, you have uh, these uh, seven courses uh, and uh, one, um, uh, say one thing you can observe is that from year one, you start seeing electrical engineering uh, subjects. So the one course is electric circuit theory one. And uh, the other courses are general science and math, right? Com chemistry, uh, co well, computer programming, that, that's, that's related to electrical engineering too. And uh, introduction to academic writing, that's English, very important for engineers to be able to, to uh, uh, write reports uh, uh, correctly. And uh, there is one course, Vectors and Matrices, that uh, this course might be waived if, if you have the, the um, grade 12 uh, U um, 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 course that is uh, strongly recommended. And the other course is uh, Calculus 1 and Introductory Physics 1. This, the second semester has many a second part of many of the courses you have in in, in the first semester and um, in addition to that you have one course that is called introduction to engineering design that involves a a, a good practice of how going through a full uh, engineering uh, project and so uh, doing the whole project from beginning to end with at, at the end, you will be building a, a practical electron, electronic system uh, uh, out of this course. And we have a circuit theory too. And uh, the last course that is shown here is um, a complementary study selective. And complementary studies means that uh, it's a course that is not, um, it's not directly related to, to engineering. It could be related to humanities, uh, uh, sociology, or, or arts. 
uh, that uh, these kind of, of courses are, are also required for engineers because engineers are, 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 are uh, required to uh, interact with people with other backgrounds and get a wide perspective of, of, of the world. So if uh, you get waived the course vector and matrices, then you have six and six courses in semester one and two. And that's why it's important to, to get this course, MC, V4, U, calculus and vectors. But if you don't have it, you can still uh, take it in year one and, um, and do the program. So the program is entirely delivered at uh, Shershans College uh, Barry campus. And uh, by experienced faculty, we, we have uh, uh, there uh, um, one, two, three, four. We have five, uh, five uh, full-time professors, uh, now six full-time professors from the Department of uh, um, Electrical Engineering, Lakehead University. And we also have uh, Dr. Uh, Ostra Rahimi from Georgian College uh, there. And uh, right now, due to the pandemic, we, we are offering uh, some courses online, but the plan, the plan is to uh, do all the delivery in, in person. And uh, I'm not sure if I skip. Yes. Um, maybe uh, th this slide has uh, a, um, a picture of the lab of Dr. Ostar Rahimi and Dr. Uding. So maybe they want to talk about uh, this. Uh, who wants to go first? So Dr. Ustad Rahimi, you can talk first actually, then I'll talk. Uh, thank you so much. So uh, in the picture that you see on the left side, uh, we have an electromagnetic interference uh, measurement lab or anechoic chamber. Uh, we have a new engineering building, uh, which was completed last year. Uh, we call this the N, N building. And um, all the labs, all the classrooms, uh, lecture halls, everything brand new. And we have many state-of-the-art uh, equipment in this, uh, in this building for students to use them. So for example, in this lab, uh, we use it for, um, for measuring uh, radiation coming out of the antenna. We can use this lab to test electronic systems. Uh, it's been two years that we're holding uh, uh, advanced seminars on campus and uh, people from industry, they come to our campus and uh, uh, also we got a generous donation from some uh, industries, for example, ANSYS for state-of-the-art tool that they provided to us. And also uh, Wolf Electronics from Germany, uh, they donated uh, uh, $35,000 worth of components for, for this test uh, lab. Uh, also, uh, the other labs that we have here on N building, we have um, some similar labs in older building engineering that uh, students, they can use them uh, for their courses. Dr. Odin, please go ahead if you want to add anything. Uh, well, thank you very much. As you can see on the right most corner, so that was my lab in Thunder Bay. So that is the research lab and uh, they were my master's students several years back. And uh, uh, I moved uh, those lab equipments uh, in uh, Barry campus now. So uh, my lab is in the Barry campus and I have currently one PhD students working here. Other two PhD students are supposed to join from January. So we have our research also going on here. The new faculty members, uh, those who recently joined, I believe that they will have the research lab very shortly. They will also accept uh, like master's PhD students like me. So it is a good thing for Barry, uh, like uh, where there was no, uh, even the bachelor program in engineering. And uh, now you will have both the bachelor as well as the uh, graduate uh, programs. So in future now you can have a dream actually to finish your master's PhD, bachelor degree, everything while you're staying in Barry. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you for, for the details. Uh, let's go to next slide. 
this uh, um, it's a testimonial from uh, another of uh, our students in, in Barry. Um, so uh, that uh, is also a comment of about uh, the small classes and the more personal interaction uh, between uh, the, the students and the faculty. Um, Okay, so this, uh, this uh, list of uh, student support that uh, is available on the campus. So it, there is, uh, of course, academic planning and support. Uh, that, that is uh, the help uh, that uh, you will get mo mostly from uh, Dr. Uding on uh, well uh, recommendation of what courses to take, how to choose uh, the best options for, for uh, completing all, all the um, program requirements. Then we have uh, on-campus indigenous resources, uh, peer mentors and tutoring is available to help uh, the students that need, want uh, e extra help with courses, accessibility services, uh, uh, this, uh, um, uh, if uh, there is an, any special need that a student has to, to uh, perform uh, uh, at the uh, peak uh, performance uh, and that is available. Enrollment, registration, financial aid, specialized service for international students. Uh, for questions or admissions, please contact the Faculty of Engineering. And this, uh, these are the uh, phone numbers for uh, our um, Faculty of Engineering. And um, yes, uh, the uh, the people there will be happy to answer your questions. And uh, we to explore life at Lake Health Georgian. Uh, so maybe um, I can jump in here, Carlos. If you, yes. If you'd like. Yes. Yeah. No problem. So yeah, if, uh, after this evening, um, there's lots of ways that you guys can stay in touch with us here at Lake Head Georgian, and uh, Obviously right now with everything kind of around COVID-19, we're not currently running our physical campus tours, but um, we do have a great virtual tour available on the website on the, uh, the next slide there. So if you uh, wanna check out uh, some of the Eng Labs and some of the facilities on the Georgia College Barry campus, even residents, um, check out the virtual tour on our Lakehead Georgian website. And uh, it's a great place to get comfortable and see if Lakehead Georgian will be the right fit for, for you. Okay. Thank you. Um, um, this, uh, again, uh, uh, if you want to book a, a phone uh, appointment to talk about Lakehead Georgian program, please go to the lakeheadgeorgian.ca connect and uh, you will uh, get an OWAC voucher code to cover the application fee for, for the program. Uh, if uh, if you want to jump in to add any, just feel free to to uh, uh, jump. And if you want to join our mailing list and keep up to date with what's happening with the uh, Lakehead Georgian uh, program, go to this website, lakeheadgeorgian.ca mailing list. And you can also follow us on social media. Uh, on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, that's the end uh, for the slides. Uh, now it's a question and answer uh, part. So I don't you tell me if you want me to stop sharing or I keep this. Yeah, that's okay. You can, uh, you can keep sharing Carlos, that's perfect. We'll just uh, keep it on this slide here. and. And yeah, we'll open it up for, for kind of formal questions. So thanks uh, everybody for, for all the information around the, uh, the program. And hopefully those of you attending uh, found that helpful as well. I know it's been a, a bit of a quiet uh, chat box here this evening. So maybe you guys are getting all the info you need, but if you, uh, if you have some specific questions for any of our faculty members or, or our student Jackie, um, feel free to drop those in the chat or use the Q&A function. Um, I'll act as moderator here, so kind of as they come in, um, we can answer them kind of live uh, through audio or through the chat. But uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a few minutes. If you do have questions, please add them to the chat. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll wrap things up here in a sec. But uh, I appreciate everybody attending. 
So I'll open it up for questions. And kind of just as uh, some of the questions are maybe coming in, I'll just add on some of the things that we didn't get into too much detail on tonight. Um, one of them is scholarships, awards, and bursaries. So uh, if anybody is interested in learning more about financial aid, if you just scroll through the chat, I dropped a, uh, a link to our website a, a few minutes ago, uh, and that'll get you started on information around our scholarships and awards. Um, Lakehead is typically in the top three universities in Ontario with scholarships, awards, and bursaries. Um, last year, we were ranked number two in Ontario, and we gave out $11 million to students through scholarships, awards, and bursaries. So there's some great opportunities uh, to help pay for, uh, for tuition. Um, one of our largest scholarships is our automatic entrance scholarship. Uh, so for, for those of you that have a minimum overall average of 80% in your top six grade 12 URM courses, you're going to automatically receive a uh, automatic entrance scholarship offer. Uh, and that scholarship starts at $750 and it goes all the way up to free tuition, depending on your average. So uh, it's still pretty early on in the school year here. If you're an Ontario high school student, just keep working away on your, uh, your courses. And the higher your uh, average from high school, the higher potential scholarship money that you'll receive. So that's a, a great one right off the bat. But if anybody has any questions about, schol about scholarships, uh, I'm happy to, uh, to answer those. Um, so we do have one question, I think, here from Xavier. Um, so I think he's asking around kind of COVID and if it extends to next year, uh, how labs are going to be completed. So I know, um, <laughs> I don't know if any of us uh, on, online here have a, a super clear answer, but um, we do have a, a, a whole committee that's currently reviewing the next academic year and kind of how courses will be delivered. Um, as Carlos said, I think at the start of the presentation, um, this current academic year, all of our courses and the majority of courses that we've offered have been done online through our uh, alternative uh, delivery model, just in terms of obviously social distancing and, and keeping in practice with the, the Ministry of Health. Um, there will be some more news, uh, hopefully becoming available in the new year. Um, again, we're in the review process kind of week to week here at Lakehead University, like a lot of other Ontario schools. Um, so if you want to keep up to date, one, a really good place to start is to join our mailing list. So as a Lakehead Georgian applicant or by joining our mailing list, you'll get uh, up-to-date information around uh, COVID-19 and the impact on students. Um, you can also visit our websites, uh, either the lakeheadgeorgian.ca website or lakeheadu.ca. And there's a specific COVID-19 page that we have available that gives you all the updates um, in regards to uh, application, admissions, you know, program delivery. Um, so that's a great place to, to start. So um, if any of the faculty have any insider info, feel free to jump in here and, and say anything, but I know it's a, it's a waiting process right now as we review things. So uh, hopefully we'll have some info soon with Xavier. Yes, I have some some uh, insider information might be useful. Uh, so the, even this uh, fall term, uh, for year uh, for um, uh, some courses, we had uh, optional in-person laboratories uh, at the Georgian Lake Georgian program. Uh, if uh, things do not get much worse than uh, well, now it, they are getting quite bad. But if things for next year are not as bad and are at least uh, same conditions that we had uh, at the beginning of these four terms we will continue offering uh, optional uh, in-person uh, laboratories. And if uh, we, we hope that things will be a lot better, but we never know with the vaccine, uh, if it is distributed and so on, maybe we can begin next fall term with a regular in-person class for, for all the programs. Perfect. Thanks, Carlos. Um, so I don't see too many more questions at the moment. So maybe I'll give uh, I'll give students a couple more minutes. Um, maybe since we have you, Jackie, not to put you on the uh, on the spot, um, maybe it'd be it'd be great if you could uh, maybe just chat with the attendees and, and and let them know maybe you know why you chose electrical engineering, um, you know why you chose Lake at Georgian, and, and just kind of a little bit more about your experience as a student. 
Yeah, sure. Glad to. So um, a little bit about me is that I came from a family of engineers. My um, siblings are engineers, my parents are. So I went with the, went with the flow. Um, a big reason I think engineering is going to be a big thing I chose it is I, everyone is going to need engineers in the future, no matter what. So I always thought it's a stable market. It's a good program, especially with Lake at Georgian and how great it's, it's been for me for the past couple of years. Do you have any, um, like any specific kind of industries or anything you're interested in after you graduate? Anywhere you, you think you may want to work or anything like that? Um, if well, you don't know, that's okay too. <laughs> <laughs> First is always to find something, find a job. I, but a big industry I think I want to try to go into is maybe power system distribution. That might just be me. Uh, I know with the courses that are given, you have an access to everything and any kind of um, field you want to go into. So if you want, if you like communication systems, you can definitely be a communications engineer. If you like controls, we offer a lot of good great controls courses. A big thing is that those are all upper year courses because when you first get into university, you're going to be learning fundamentals. So fundamental circuit theory, fundamental analysis, and all that kind of stuff. Good news is, is you don't like chemistry, you don't do it after first year. That's the great thing with electrical engineering, because I'm not a fan of chemistry. <laughs> That's fair. I don't think I was uh, either, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Appreciate you. Uh... Given your given your your candid experience, that's, that's awesome. So I see uh, I see we do have one question here in the the Q and A. Um, we've talked a little bit about it, but um, maybe for the faculty, um, Eric has a question kind of around uh, how many courses are currently offered online um, versus in person, and kind of what typically what times of the day are classes offered. Um, so if you can maybe touch on that. With Okay, sure. Um, for, for anybody, Jackie and faculty. <laughs> okay, well, for me, I know with my year, fourth year, um, I have classes, generally just six courses worth. And they range from 8 a.m. to maybe 5 p.m. And classes are usually an out 90 minutes. There's imp usually a 10 minute break or 80 minutes really because in person they were professors would go for 80 minutes and then you have 10 minutes to travel from classroom to classroom but since you're sitting in a chair you travel from you're just sitting in a chair i guess <laughs> but the time of the classes are going to be the same in person or not in person as to as much as you, if you don't like ADMs and if you get an ADM online, thumbs the brakes really. It's gonna be the same thing in person as it is online. Uh, Aaron, I can jump in with to complement the, the answer about the percentage of classes that are given online and in person. Uh, uh, so, all the classes have an uh, online component uh, at, at this moment. So all the classes are, as much as possible, the, the, the courses have been moved online. What we have is of some courses, maybe uh, say, I would say one third, uh, one third or one fourth of the courses, especially year one, uh, year one and two and some uh, year three, um, uh, we have optional uh, laboratories in, uh, uh, that are in person. So, so you have the online lectures and problem solving and the theory and things like that. And then you might uh, go for 
do, to do the experiments, the laboratory experiments in person, if, if you choose to do so. And they, they also have an option to do online experiments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that, that's it. Yeah. That's all I Great, thanks, Carlos. So I don't see too many more questions here at the moment. Um, we'll maybe give you guys one more opportunity. If you have any last minute questions here just before we wrap up, feel free to drop those in the chat or the Q&A. Um, the one thing, uh, additional thing I'll, I'll mention is uh, our virtual open house, which is coming up. So uh, if you want to get in touch with any of our faculty members here, um, learn a little bit more about all things Lakehead, um, as well as the Lakehead Georgian Partnership Program, we do have a virtual open house coming up on December the 9th. And I'll drop the link in the chat here in a second. Um, but uh, it's a great opportunity to, again, uh, meet some of our faculty members face to face, um, chat with some of our admission staff uh, and, and uh, staff from uh, a lot of the other Lakehead University departments as well. We are doing a uh, grand prize draw of free tuition um, to one lucky winner uh, that attends one of our virtual events this year. So to give yourself an opportunity to, to be a lucky winner, feel free to register for the, the open house on December 9th. And we hope to see you guys there uh, as well. And as Carlos mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, um, you can book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with us as well. So um, if you're uh, really seriously considering applying to our Lakehead Georgian Electrical Engineering Program, um, feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment with myself on our Lakehead Georgian website. Um, we're actually giving away a, a free uh, UAC application voucher to cover your application fee. Um, so it's a great incentive if you're ready to go and, and ready to apply for the Lakehead Georgian uh, Electrical Eng program. So I don't see any more questions here. So maybe we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up there. And uh, just in the interest of time, I know it's a, kind of a busy, busy time of the week. Um, so I appreciate everybody uh, joining us here this, uh, this evening. Thanks to all of our faculty members. Thanks to Jackie, uh, our student ambassador as well. Um, hopefully this evening was, uh, was great for everyone involved and, and you got all the information and, and answers you need as a future Lake Ed Georgian student. So best of luck the rest of the school year and uh, keep in touch and, and have a good evening, everyone. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Gaij. Okay, bye. Bye everyone, thank you. Okay, thank you, bye bye. Okay. <laughs>